G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be having a look at the Separatist Droid Speeder. It comes with the Battle Droid. This is one of the new sort of vehicle and figure battle sets that uh, has come out in the Hasbro line at the moment. Uh, came out in the same line as the Republic Scout Speeder with the, uh, the ARF Trooper. I've uh, just done a review on that one so if you haven't checked that out, um, go ahead and, uh, and have a watch. It's not too bad, as I can say. Um, let's get back to the Speeder here with the Separatist Droid. So, as you can see, it's a nice little Speeder. A little limited in its functionality, but uh, all in all, it's uh, a nice little addition if you're an army builder and you want to sort of build up your separatist army. Um, I'll, before I actually get into the features on the vehicle, let's have a quick look at the box. As you can see there, we've got the uh, the diorama in the background. We move around, we've got the actual droid on the speeder in action. And then spinning onto this side, you get a nice close-up of the droid with his blue painting. On the back of the box we can see what other vehicles are in the line and then we can have a look at some of the features. So it does come with a dropping bomb mechanism which you can see there. Holds one battle droid as you can see and the wings can fold up and down so depending on how you want to set it in motion. So let's actually move back to the vehicle now. So here we are here. Let's start in on the cockpit so you can see there it comes with a nicely painted battle droid. It actually sits quite well in the actual seat. So um, it's pretty usual, unusual, sorry, to, to find a figure that sits quite nicely in the in the seat of the vehicle. Most of the time the legs don't sort of bend in the right spot or the hands don't grab onto the handles, but you can see there the droid sits uh, rather nicely, even with the battle pack on. And they've even allowed for that with a little section in the back there so his, his battle pack can sit. Uh, unfortunately there's no firing cannons on the vehicle. There's a lot of cannons on there or guns on there, but uh, none of them actually fire out so there's no projectile missiles. You do actually have the bomb though, and that's the button up the top here, so if I lift it up, Underneath you can see the bomb compartment, so when you push the button up the top, the little bomb will drop out. So there it is there, you can see. Uh, and lastly, as I said, the wings can go up and down, so you can fold the wing up, or you can fold it down the base there, so actually you can have it sitting up in the air, but uh, most of the time, just with the little stands that it has on the bottom, that's pretty much the extent to which you can fold the wings for it to, uh, to sit nicely on the tabletop. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that review, uh, as short as it is. Uh, if you see any of the other vehicles um, on a cheap price, hey, feel free to let us know because I'm always on the hunt for vehicles and figure sets. So thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Don't forget to uh, check out the Republic Scout Speeder as well. Uh, apart from that, uh, cheers.